less and less. Another horrible example of, you know, disgusting example of women being harassed, you know, mistreated. Treated as if they're someone else's. Treated as, as if they're not human. You know, at my job, you know, I... You know, I... Um, you know, I always try to help out. I always try to have genuine conversation, this, this, and that, you know, just as a human and just, you know, as, you know, a person who is curious about shit and, you know, interested about different things or this, this, and that, but, you know, one of the people that works there, you know, she, um, you know, because like I say, I mean, you got to, I mean, you should want to talk to people. You should want to, you know, I can say we had a job, sure, this, this, and that, co-worker, whatever, you know, we're human. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, I always, you know, try to talk to everybody within a sense, you know, try to have a genuine conversation, you know what I'm saying, now and then within a sense, you know, so, you know, stayed after, you know, and talked. You know what I'm saying? Just talk about what's going on, you know, this, this, and that. You know what I'm saying? See where the mental at, you know, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it came up where, you know, we got a, we got a new cook. And, you know, she was like, you know, you know, he, um, you know, harasses me. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, you know, I'm like, what? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm, I'm like, is he, is he touching you? Is he, you know? And she's like, you know, no, he hasn't touched me, but you know, he's like tried or whatever. And you know, he's, you know, he said he's, you know, continuously says things to me. You know, and I was like. You know when and you know when does this happen and how you know this is now she was like every day you know and i'm like you know i'm like why did you say anything this is and that you know what i'm saying and, and um she's like you know us latinas we just you know that's how um latino men are you know what i'm saying within her experience and you know the people she was around or dealt with you know what i'm saying obviously you know, having a conversation with me, I knew what she meant, but obviously within the macro of certain listeners of this, this, and that, she doesn't mean all Latinos and all Latinas that, you know, deal with it. But she was like, you know, that's just, you know, how they treat us. You know, we just deal with it. You know what I'm saying? Because she was like, you know, saying, you know, like sexual things in Spanish and calling her little, like, nicknames. And you know what I'm saying? Like, delicious or some shit like that you know what i'm saying and like she was just like you know that's just how it always is you know we always deal with that you know what i'm saying and it's like it's the fact that you know she just believes that's part of life you know what i'm saying because it's been happening to her all her life you know majority of her life so when it happens you know as she expressed she doesn't like it but you know she just feels as her being born a Latino woman, this is what comes with it. You know what I'm saying? And not that, you know, she has a choice and not that, you know, that this, you know, isn't what life has to be. And, 
you know, you don't have to, you know, allow that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that is not okay in any way, shape, or form. Not okay. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I was like, you know, because I would see everybody going, I said, okay, I'm going to talk to him in the morning. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to talk to him tomorrow morning because I'm like, and she like, oh, you know, no, it's just, you know, I'm like, nah. I'm like, you know, you know, okay, you know, you've been dealing with this, this, and that, so you feel it's okay. And just as far as where your mental is at right now, you know what I'm saying? I can't do too much fault in, you know, on your end within that shit. Can we evaluate word change, grow, of course. You know what I'm saying? But within this nigga, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's the dress right now. You know what I'm saying? That... You know, I'm, I, I was like, nah, that don't fly with me. You know what I'm saying? I was like, it, 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 it ain't no okay, this is it. That don't fly with me. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it just, it just, you know, definitely just like, you know, it's tough because it's like, that was her like thing. Like, that's just how they treat us. You know, that's what Latina, you know what I'm saying? And she probably seen it within, you know, her mom or her sisters or her, you know, um, her girlfriends or, you know, anything or just certain people around, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, and she from Honduras. So it's like, you know, within where she grew up at her, you know what I'm saying? And like, that's just what it was. So when she came here, you know, the Latino man, that's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, I don't give a fuck whether these men, you know, are married or this, this, and that. You know, that just adds on to the disgustingness of it. You know what I'm saying? But it shouldn't be happening regardless. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, nah, bro. You know, and we got a new, um, like, dishwasher. You know what I'm saying? And she said, you know, he, you know, does it to her. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, like... You know the line, you know where they cook at her. This is it's a lot. It's not too much of a tight space, but trying to slide by behind, you know, it's kind of tight. And he's like, she was like, when, um, you know, obviously I don't want to say names type shit, but when you know the dishwasher, you know, like gets by or whatever, he like kind of tries to like fill on her boob or whatever. You know, is that is that you know is what she said. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, you know what I'm saying. You know, and like I say with me, it don't matter if it's physical, verbal, you know what I'm saying? It's harassment, you know what I'm saying? And that's what I be saying, you know, within people like picking and choosing the situational shit, you know what I'm saying? It's harassment, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and we do not condone harassment, you know? So, you know, some people were like, well, if he's not touching you, we'll just, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, and obviously... You know what I'm saying? You know, within certain shit, you know what I'm saying? Within certain situations, shit like that. You know, of course, fire him, this, this, and that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got nothing to do with that. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna make sure that that shit don't happen no more, though, within, you know, the job. You know what I'm saying? And like I say, you know, with this approach of her, you know, definitely, you know, within this situation and her definitely being like, Nah, I don't do it, this, this, and that. You know what I'm saying? Like, just knowing it's, like, definitely within the job shit. And, like, I have the eye out for it and this, this, and that. You know what I'm saying? It's not like, you know, going somewhere and, you know, um, like, them being somewhere by themselves. And then now he abuses her for the this, this, and that. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, within those situations, still bring it up. But, you know, you got to handle it in a different way type shit because you bring that shit up in public and they go beat her more or you know whatever in um so-called private you know what i'm saying so you know i don't know that was just you know what i'm saying just so tough to hear and just so tough to see how she's so accustomed to it and how it's just you know oh it's just it's just something i deal with you know what I'm saying? It's just, you know, and it's just like, you know, you know, before we got the dishwasher, you know what I'm saying? I was all, because, you know, she does a lot. She 
she got to, you know, prep. She got to, it's a lot of shit to like prep. And then she got to help cook. And then she was doing the dishwasher, you know. So I would, you know, um, like do the dishes, you know, to help her out type shit. And you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just like, you know, she got a lot of shit going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, she ain't got no fucking papers. She trying to get her papers and shit. You know, and that paper shit, you know, the fact that it's so limited ways to get your papers, the fact that you need papers, the fa like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's another just something made to, you know, keep people at a disadvantage. You know what I'm saying? Something made to... You know what I'm saying? It's like another thing of, you know, like, you know, somebody's record, you know, as far as criminal record, this, this, and that. You know, another thing created to, you know, hold people back into, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, people react to this world and shit happens and we do shit, you know what I'm saying? But to something be on your record and now, you know, just, you can't do nothing, you know what I'm saying? Unless you get a clean record, you know, and that doesn't happen unless... You, you got money, you know somebody in a high place, you, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's like, oh yeah, that's what it is. Unless, you know what I'm saying? And like, I'm tired of that unless shit, you know, but you know, that was, that was definitely, you know, tough to hear, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, obviously hearing it outside in and not knowing the situation, you know, certain people could think, you know, many things of how to deal with this situation, but within the situation we're in, you know, there's a lot of variables that goes, you know, into it. You know what I'm saying? And there's, you know, a lot of shit that's already trying to be figured out and dealt with. And, you know what I'm saying? It's definitely, you know, tough. You know what I'm saying? It's, like I say, within that, you know what I'm saying? Can I offer different type of information or, you know, advice or, you know, do certain things? Of course, you know what I'm saying? But like I say, within that harassment shit, that stopped yesterday or today, I'm sorry. That stopped today. You know what I'm saying? There will be no more of that. You know, and, I, you know, I, I really, you know... Cause like I just say, you know, come down to it, motherfucker, we'll find somebody else. You know what I'm saying? It's like at the at the end of the day, type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like we'll find somebody else. You know what I'm saying? It's just, you know. But you know, I just, you know, don't want her or you know the dishwasher to fucking you know, let them do it on the low, let them do it on the slick, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, I, 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 you know, I don't know, man, you know, and it's also a so-called man, and you know how men and women, you know, I'm empowering and you're not type shit, so it may, you know, feel like they can't do nothing or say anything, or you know what I'm saying, so, you know, it's just tough, you know what I'm saying, Shit, my voice should this is what I would sound like if I would have went through puberty. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know what I'm saying? Listen. I don't know what happened. You know what I'm saying? You can tell me what happened. God damn. Yeah, uh, shit, boy. Yeah, nigga. I don't know where again just so we'll throw runny nose, sneeze and cough and type shit. Boy, that hoe caught me yesterday. It didn't happen yesterday, but like the the cold, hot, shaking, sore body. That shit caught me yesterday, nigga. Boy, you know what I'm saying? Like I was fucking struggling to stand and shit like that, but I was like, I was gonna just lay down. But I ain't eat nothing, so I was like, I gotta cook some. I'm standing up fucking like this, shaking. You know what I'm saying? Throwing a jacket and sweatpants and I'm, you know, cause I'm freezing. You know what I'm saying? But then it's like, I throw that on and it's like, I'm still freezing, but I'm hot as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like you got all the cold bumps all over you and shit, but it's like, like body, like, it's just crazy. Like body sore as fuck.
fuck. Like, it just feel like you just finna fall apart. You know what I'm saying? And then it's like, I don't know, man. It's tough. And again, also today, you know, listen. You know, it's, you know, another tough situation. You know what I'm saying? But, buddy, you know, you know, buddy um, was eating with somebody. Um, you know, they came up to the register, you know, order what they ordered. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm talking about uh, just this overwhelming odor. You know what I'm saying? This soup. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and it, to me, it smelled like piss. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, you know, it, it, it's not too many ways around d d d piss. You know what I'm saying? It, it, that smelled like piss to me. I, I'm not too sure what it was, but it smelled like piss and the shit was strong. You know what I'm saying? I was like, damn. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, boy I work with, he was like, <laughs> he like, you smell that shit? <laughs> So, you know, I knew I wouldn't chew. You know what I'm saying? I'm, and I'm, I'm wearing a mask. So that shit went through my shit. I'm like, oh. I'm like, damn. <laughs> Bro, like, you smell that shit. I said, listen, I don't even know. You know what I'm saying? And like, I mean, and it stayed type shit. You know what I'm saying? But I was like, you know, because obviously, you know, we smelling, we like, damn, you know, we wasn't like, you know, clowning buddy type shit. It was just like, damn, you know what I'm saying? But we had no spray, so I sprayed like, you know, the Clorox bleach in the air, you know what I'm saying? And it was funny because like later on somebody came and they were like, oh, it smells so clean and fresh. Because <laughs> I didn't fucking douse the whole thing in there. And then, nah, but I was like. You know, I told a boy I worked with, I said, I said, no, nah, before he leave, I got to let him know. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, you know, I mean, because, you know, that's, you know, what I talk about type shit. You know what I'm saying? Keeping people in check. You know, help people out, letting them know this, this, and that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, he was like, you wild, chill. But I was like, listen, I got to let him know. You know what I'm saying? So, he was walking out, you know, uh, shit. I, I seen him, I was like, all right, shit. I went up to him and like I said, he was with um, this woman, you know what I'm saying? I was like, can I talk to you for a second? You know what I'm saying? She was walking out the door and then I asked him, can I talk to you for a second? Then she stopped and came back in. I said, can I talk to you for a second? They fella, come here. You know what I'm saying? I was like, all right, let me move. So I moved and I was like, come here. And then she stayed back. I said, listen, brother. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to go around this, you know, in ways. You know, I don't know what I said verbatim, but I was just basically like, you know what I'm saying? I'm coming from, I'm coming, you know, from, I'm coming with you with kindness. You know what I'm saying? I'm not here, you know what I'm saying? But it's just, listen, you know, there's this, you know, overwhelming odor, you know what I'm saying? That, that, you know, that's, that, that's coming from you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I listen, you know, I didn't I didn't know too many ways to put that shit. You know what I'm saying? I didn't I didn't know too many ways. You know what I'm saying? Cause you approaching, you know what I'm saying, obviously, you know, a human, but you know, definitely a man within, you know, this society and how, you know, certain men can think or things of that nature, you know what I'm saying? So it's kinda like, you know, this man came and telling me, you know, this is now, I don't need to hear nothing from you. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, he was just like, you know, I was like, you know, I didn't, I didn't know, you know, somebody let you know, I didn't want to, you know, for you to go and be, you know, smelling like you smelling, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, he was like, nah, you know, nobody let me know. And then he was, you know, he was like, you know, I'm wearing straight up cologne. So, you know, I don't really know. And I was just like, oh, well, shit, yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, man, shit. I was like, I don't know, brother. I was like, I was like, all right. And then he was like, you know, he was like, I guess thanks for letting me know type shit. But I mean, listen, you know, if that's the case, get that cologne back. You know what I'm saying? That's what you need to take from it. But at least he'll, you know, because like I say, maybe it's like a house older within, 
his lifestyle within the home, you know, or maybe the certain people he's living with that, you know, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, at least, you know, definitely, you know, like I say, for me, I wanted to tell him. You know what I'm saying? And that's doing for me and having my peace of mind. And, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't want bros walking around and, you know, just piss lingering. And I keep saying piss. I'm not too sure. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like, you know, and within that, you know, can definitely help him within, you know, throughout the rest of the day, definitely thinking about this shit, definitely smelling himself, definitely went home and got to smelling shit and, you know, he definitely gonna take an extra good fucking shower tonight. If that's the cologne, he gonna throw that motherfucker away. You know what I'm saying? Like, listen, you know, rather than not listen, will the motherfucker come back to the restaurant? I'm not too sure. You know what I'm saying? To keep it all the way with you, I'm not too sure. But, you know, within human to human, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, it's tough. For some reason, everyone wants something they don't have. Huge. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what so many, so many people, you know, are busy evaluating and thinking of. You know what I'm saying? Of what they don't have. You know, and within obviously certain extents, sure. You know what I'm saying? Within you know, what you want and what you don't want and what you want to work towards and this, this, and that. You know what I'm saying? But with that comes control. With that comes a healthy gauge of the wants. With that, you know what I'm saying? It's like, sure, within that what is, you know, and then we get to the, you know, uh, the situational of it and the certain, you know, the certain journeys of those certain, you know, things that you want. You know what I'm saying? And so many of those journeys are, you know, very unhealthy. And so many, you know, of those ways of thinking about, you know, those wants or this, this, and that, you know, is unhealthy. You know what I'm saying? And if you're allowing yourself to live in this, you know, make believe all this want, 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 or either dive yourself into getting those wants and not you know, be in the presence of what you have now and what is, you know, then that is also, you know, unhealthy. And, hey, I got to change this. Hey, I got to work on this. Hey, I got to, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, you know, the only reason you're able to be so focused on whatever, you know what I'm saying, is because all of what you have now, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, if you haven't, you know, become aware and accepted and definitely loved and you know what I'm saying um experience you know what is and what you have now you know what I'm saying that you should definitely worry about that you know what I'm saying and a lot of people don't really realize you know within that journey of yourself and you know what is and what you have now you know so many because things come regardless you know what I'm saying? Whether you feel negative, positive, unhealthy, healthy, you know, things are going to come within so many senses. You know what I'm saying? I talk about opportunities. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, instead of, you know, suffering or being in an unhealthy, you know, lifestyle, you know, you can be, you know, within yourself and have that healthy lifestyle and then still have these things come. And, oh, you know, now I want to do this. Now I can do this. Oh, this opportunity. You know what I'm saying? It's like, like, it's funny to this day who you are. Like, it's funny to this day who you are and what you can do is still based off labels, age, where you went to school. Did you go to college? Who you identify as? What you wear? Like, don't have to have a certain label to think, evaluate shit. Like, all the jobs I worked at, me and the people in the actual field would run the whole business better than the qualified so-called managers who did nothing. Like, would be just fine if they weren't there, but for some reason, they get paid more and can tell us what to do. Huge. You know what I'm saying? You know, and I really talk about that, you know, the, the you know, there's so many stereotype things of 
you know what I'm saying, of how y'all view people and will y'all have a conversation with them or will y'all not, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's, it's so odd, you know what I'm saying, and it just, I don't care if it, you know, worked for a thousand people, you know, it didn't work for the one, you know, so, you know, it's just, as far as the stereotyping, you know what I'm saying, it's just, that's not cool, you know what I'm saying, like, oh, you know, dropped out of high school, dumb, what? You know what I'm saying? Like, like, and even within the area of high school, you know, they got all A's. They just dropped out. Now what? You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's just, you know, it's, it's definitely, you know, so odd. You know what I'm saying? And I just, I don't know, bro. You know what I'm saying? And like, and like, listen, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, you know, managers are doing, you know, within certain jobs or whatever, managers are doing other stuff rather than, you know what I'm saying? When they come in the field with us, you know, sure. You know, but I'm just like, that could just be a position that they go do. You know what I'm saying? If they got to do the fucking inventory, if they got to do, you know, emails, if they got to do, you know what I'm saying? They got to do all that then they can go do all those things. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, because I mean, it's also just a crazy responsibility and pressure, you know, within a manager to put all those things on them and then take responsibility of, you know, what happens within the store and how it's going and this, 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 and that. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, that's just, that, that shouldn't how it be. You know what I'm saying? And definitely within the field, you know, there doesn't need to be a manager. There needs to be people, you know, in their roles. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just, you know, is because at the end of the day, that's what it comes down to. You know what I'm saying? Everybody has to be doing their role in order for us to get this food out. Everybody has to be doing their role in order for us to get through this day. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, if everybody's not doing their role and somebody got to pick up after somebody, then, you know what I'm saying? Shit starts falling apart. You know what I'm saying? But you don't need a manager to come in micromanaging shit and bringing the vibe all the way down and fucking screaming and yelling at people and then making people like do extra shit or change how they do shit. You know what I'm saying? Just because that's not the way you want it or blah, 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? Like that's just so, you know, and it's like, you know, you with this pressure that you complain about all the fucking time and then you come in here and be an asshole. You know what I'm saying? We are relieving the pressure in so many ways. You know what I'm saying? And all you can do is be an asshole to us. Like, you want people to help out and, you know, this, this, and that. You know, and are only so-called maybe kind within those times of you asking. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes to you just in a mood, you know what I'm saying? Then, you know, you fucking marching around telling everybody to shut the fuck up. Family is once again another horrible use label that comes with all these things. And others believe that they don't have to show any action and just say words and convince anybody in your family. Rape and molestation happens inside the family a lot. And when you're less experienced and are unsure with what rape is, you think that is normal in some cases, even if it feels wrong or you don't like it. But that's family, so you've been told. Tell you, so you've been told, tell your parents, they tell you to keep quiet or just do what they say. If you tell anyone else, you get disowned, sad. It's like, don't have to know the label or what it means. You know what you feeling and don't like it. So it shouldn't be happening. Like that's it within certain evaluations, huge. You know what I'm saying? Just like I was somebody at my job, you know what I'm saying? Like, she feel, you know, that this is just, you know, or she, you know, is aware of this is how it's been majority of her life. You know what I'm saying? So it's like now that she knows the label of, you know, the harassment, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, um, regardless of regardless, you know, she doesn't like it. You know, she doesn't want it, want it happening to her. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, then it should not be happening, you know? And within 
this, you know what I'm saying, it should not be happening. You know, and, and, and you know, a lot of people, you know, for some reason don't understand that. You know, is is it's, it's you know, is you know, like I say, you know, so many things are situational. You know what I'm saying? But for your child to come to you and tell you these things that someone has done to them. You tell them to just do what they say. To don't tell anybody to. You know, you just show them that that it's okay. You know that they shouldn't be feeling. You know this 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 violatedness. This disgustingness, you know what I'm saying? That they that they should welcome it and that this shouldn't feel wrong. <coughs> you know? And that, you know, this is what family does. You know, family, you know, touches you, you know, you know, in You know, in places, you know, you, you, you know, touches you in very inappropriate ways. You know what I'm saying? You know, family, You know, family, you know, has, you know, sexual intercourse with you. Family, you know what I'm saying? This is, you know, this is what you're told. This is what you feel. You know, you allow this treatment, you know, and, and you know, it, it, it goes into other relationships and what you allow others to do. And, you know, you feel horrible. I mean, you're, you're, you're ruined at such a less experienced time. You're ruined. Ruined, you know, is it's too many things that so many people want people to recover from, you know, and fucking come back from. There's too many things that people are just doing and expect people to just deal with. They shouldn't be happening. They shouldn't be happening. How they come back from that? What they gotta do now? You know what they gonna do now? What do you do? Just fucking keep it pushing. What do you do? They ain't got nobody. Nobody. Like fuck that that's your child You know what I'm saying There's a human being who's like I don't like You know what I'm saying Like it's just like Like how is that not the mental
you know, and then it comes back to to you. You know, and what you were told when you were less experienced and family was touching you in inappropriate places. You told your parents and they beat you for saying such things. So now you have a child still within the family and you you don't beat them you know pretty sure you want some points for that one you don't beat them Don't fucking believe them. Just let it keep happening. You just. All in this family name shit. First, we not back with kings and queens. Second, I don't give a fuck who you know or who knows somebody with a family name. Ain't no reputation shit. You should do for you regardless. But the thing with that is it blurs a lot of other things. And you use not ruining the family name as a guide. And it isn't healthy. I mean, a lot of bad things happen within families. And it's horrible. A lot of kids know nothing but what their parents tell them. So if they say it's okay, the kids go through with it huge. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like this reputation shit. Like what the fuck are we talking about? You know what I'm saying? Like what? Hey, it's, it's fucking competition? I got to be forced to do this, this, and that so I can make you look good? Nigga, I'm not you? You know, like, that's the thing. Like, within that person, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, like, they fucked up. But it's like, it's, it's, I don't give a fuck if it's being attached to you or it's not. Who gives a fuck? how other people looking at it. That motherfucker is over there obsessed with drugs and has been obsessed with drugs for 20 years and they are 27. Where about that shit? How about you? You, you stop trying to help because, you know what I'm saying, you losing yourself. Not you stop trying to help because you, they making you look bad. You disown them because they fucking up your reputation. That's where your mental is at. You know what I'm saying? It's once again, it's too much about, you know, this middle shit. You know what I'm saying? And not about the human. You know what I'm saying? What's attached? What's this? What's that? Hey, ugh. No such thing as the good girl or the bad girl. Because see, with those labels, things come with that. 
and the good girl should have a great life and the bad girl should have not so good life. But everyone is different and acting as if that applies to everyone is stupid. The good girl is probably pressured to do good in school, say the right things, always act right, but she hates the pressure, fucks with her mentality, she wants a break. Bad girl expected to be a to be bad at school, act out, do bad things. And even when she wants to just act so-called right, she feels this need to act out because that's what she's labeled as. That's what's expected of her. Shit is dumb. You know what I'm saying? There's so many people, you know, who are, you know, forced into this way of being. There's so many people who work just a certain way, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, people just kept bringing it up and reiterating and, you know, making them out to be that one moment where they were that one thing, you know what I'm saying? So they feel pressured to just be that, you know, because it's not about them. It's not about what they're feeling. It's not about, you know what I'm saying? It's just, you know, what are others saying? How do others view me? How do, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, it doesn't help that they do this. You know, and it's like, it's, it's so huge, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, certain people, you know, as far as like, you know, social media or, you know, as far as like coming up on YouTube or whatever, you know what I'm saying? It's like, they were all, you know, known, you know what I'm saying? For this one thing type shit, you know what I'm saying? Especially trying to, you know, get big on YouTube or whatever, you know, if you got this one thing working, you know what I'm saying? Especially, you know, back then with then, you know, it not being so just, you know, any and everybody can just blow up, you know what I'm saying? So it was like, it was a, you know, grind, grind, grind. And, you know, you're trying to do something, you know, only a few have done, you know what I'm saying? You trying to pay the bills, you know, just by doing YouTube, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, what are you thinking? You know what I'm saying? So you, you got this one thing that's working, you know, you're kind of doing it, obviously, because people are enjoying it and you're enjoying it. You know what I'm saying? But once your mental change, once you want something different, you know, the people are like, boo, you know, fuck this, this, this and that, you know, we want the old, whatever we want, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, you kind of feel like, you know, I got to go back to that or I can only be that or, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, they don't, you know, yeah, just staying on that. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you just see like how it can happen in so many, you know, facets and ways, you know, and how it's so horrible. You know what I'm saying? Like with Eminem, you know what I'm saying? Just like how so many people, you know, oh, we want, you know, Slim Shady, we want the old Eminem, we want... You know what I'm saying? But it's like, it's just so, you know, them, 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 and how they feel about it. And, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's, you know, like I say, good or bad, it's just, you know, what the idea of it is and what they expect it to be. And, you know, what was the first of them knowing about it or this, this, and that, you know, but I'm just like, you know, and like I say, Eminem music, you know, like, come on, you know what I'm saying? But it come down to, I would be okay without having any of Eminem music. You know what I'm saying? If he wasn't as obsessed to drugs, you know, if he um, wasn't a fucking alcoholic, if he wasn't going through all this mental shit, if he wasn't dealing with all this bullshit, if he, you know what I'm saying? Like they say, you know, want the old some shady this, this and that, you know what I'm saying? The motherfucker was, you know, obsessed with drugs and a fucking alcoholic. The motherfucker was unhealthy making them songs. And it's like, sure, within the art, you know, fuck, those are beautiful songs. Of course. You know what I'm saying? But what what did it take out of him to make those songs? What type of state did he have to be in? You know, or was he in to make those songs? You know what I'm saying? So to just say, go make those songs again, you know, does he have to be in that state again? Does he, have, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, within, you know, where Eminem, you know, is at throughout his career and this, this, and that, you know what I'm saying? Obviously within, you know, now being healthier and things of that nature and people feel whatever about the music, you know what I'm saying? Human, once again, human, 
you know, he's healthier. Human, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, it's the music, it's the this, it's the content, it's the, you know, the, what you like, what you, you know what I'm saying? It's all that instead of human. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm fine. Damn. We didn't have Eminem music that I would have never known about. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't have known about Eminem or Eminem music because he doesn't fucking exist. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't exist. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's so many fucking people, you know, and so many things where people are just in a horrible state and they're producing such wonderful art. You know what I'm saying? And not saying that, you know, hey, when you're in certain states, don't fucking have an outlet. Don't express yourself through the music. You know, they're doing just fine within, you know, dealing with it within certain extents of the way they're dealing with it. You know what I'm saying? It's just the people as far as the viewers, the audience, the observers, you know what I'm saying? The art takers. Well, no, nah, don't say that. The, the people who take the art in, you know what I'm saying? Like, we can't be like, oh, go back to this. We want this old, old, old. You know what I'm saying? We got to, you know, truly think about it. You know what I'm saying? And be like, you know, just how they were, you know what I'm saying? As a human, you know what I'm saying? And within the art, you know, you know, especially within art and certain art, you know, we don't, you know, we don't want the the same, 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 same. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, even within, you know, making certain art, you know, it's not like they're making a certain, like, you know, within you now listen to them, blah, blah, blah. You're like, oh, I want this. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, when they were making it, that wasn't that. You know what I'm saying? That was just what they were making. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, to try to replicate or to try to make it, you know, it was, it, it's not even like, you know, the pure art anymore. It's not even you know, just expressing yourself and creating whatever. It's now trying to replicate something. It's now trying to, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, that's just, you know, so huge. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, no, you know, the so-called good girl, you know, doesn't want this life, doesn't want to be seen as this, doesn't want to be, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, it's just so unfair to put that pressure on that person to be this way, to not upset and disappoint y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, what is that? You know, and it's like, it would be, oh, you know, so-called good girl, so-called this and that, and they so-called fuck up once, and then you fucking, you know what I'm saying, the maul they ass. You know, it's just like, it's it's crazy, you know, and you see just how unhealthy it is, you know what I'm saying? And it's like the same thing, bad girl, they do a so-called one good thing and nobody gives a fuck, discredits it, No, you know what I'm saying? So it's just, you're being punished for, you know, being different. People in the army praise God, but kill humans. Don't add up. I mean, some in general pray they got, but okay with somebody being killed. Yeah, I mean, duh, I don't, I, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, like I said, I, you know, I don't, I'm not, I'm not too, like I said, we've been talking about this shit, but I'm, it's just, you know, the ins and outs of that shit, you know, I'm just not too aware of it all. You know, cause it's just, uh, you know what I'm saying? You know, oh, well, they do, you know, we do it for our country. I don't know. You know, it's, you know, they're justifying it. You know what I'm saying? Just like certain people justified it in the stories that are in the Bible and shit like that. Like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I mean, either way, I mean, that's odd to me. You know what I'm saying? And that, and that they, ain't no way they can't come off as, you know, fucking odd. 
you know, this God prays, you know, don't be ugly, you know, don't kill and go kill. Man, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Forgive me, Father, for I have like what? Forgive me, Father, for I have killed somebody. You are forgiven. I don't know. Robots AI can help us a lot. Make our life easier, but they can also be used for defense, and that shit's scary. Huge. You know what I'm saying? Just talking. <coughs> just talking with them. You know what I'm saying? This, you know, this war shit and this continuation of trying to build war and weapons and, you know, all this shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, obviously within now, they have many AI defense shit. You know what I'm saying? It's just going to keep getting worse and worse and worse. And, you know, it's just, it's not going to turn out, you know, good for us. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's not too many ways about it, you know, because when it comes to a, it wanting to take over, you know, and it, it somehow, it fucking up its, you know, evaluations of shit and, understanding who's who and this, this, and that, or certain people use it to target certain people. You know what I'm saying? Like, the fucker is unstoppable. You know what I'm saying? And it can do harm, you know, so many times faster and cover so much more space than, you know, humans could ever. They make it so easy to eat meat make it so cheap they make it so hard to be vegan and all of it is not so cheap and a lot of people don't know what to get and have to do a lot of research when most don't even want to do research let be have time oh let be have time it's crazy all the ads fast food places and shit like pay attention huge you know what i'm saying like i said i say vegan like, I don't, I'm not too sure of all the, you know, the fucking names. You know what I'm saying? Like, motherfucker, we not, you know what I'm saying? Not eating animals. You know what I'm saying? Cruelty free. Like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, we trying to come up with all these names and shit like that. Like, don't fucking kill animals. Don't eat animals. Cruelty free products. You know, eco friendly. You know what I'm saying? Like, within all the so called labels of you're this because you're do this, or you know what I'm saying? Like, fuck all that. But it's just like, yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, it's a fast food, you know, around every fucking corner. It's a McDonald's on every commercial you fucking see. You know what I'm saying? It's a celebrity, you know, fucking uh, partner up with, you know, every fast food. It's a, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know what I'm saying? And the, like I say, the shit is cheap. The shit is, you know, and it's like, you know, at my job, you know what I'm saying? It's like there, you know, obviously, you know, it's free. You know, they have like, you know, vegan options. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, there, you know, I, I only, like, I don't eat, you know what I'm saying? No meat, no animals, none of that shit. Because I'm just like, you know, this is what I want to be doing. And, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, you know, within my lifestyle and shit like that. Now there's money included, so, you know, I still, you know what I'm saying, don't have that lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, within that, you know, why would I not be, you know, doing that, you know, and practicing that, you know what I'm saying? And with that, you know, I've definitely seen, you know, so many options, you know what I'm saying, that, you know, don't even think of type shit, you know, because haven't tried or even tried to experience a blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? That's like so-called vegan, but it's just like, you know what I'm saying? Like rice. You know what I'm saying? It's like you so-called like, like, why the fuck would I eat rice? Just like, I don't know. Like, it's just, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I say, like middle school type shit or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Vegan, you know, I'm eat leaves and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause that's just how it's kind of given to us within the extent of where you're at. You know what I'm saying? So to, you know, see the options of so many things you know what i'm saying it's huge you know what i'm saying like today i made a fucking you know rice bowl you know what i'm saying with corn salsa the black beans and then uh barbecue sauce and just like mix all this shit up 
and then you know what I'm saying, just eat that whole, you know what I'm saying, and like, you know, you know, I would eat, you know, tofu, you know what I'm saying, for a good while, you know, I was, they don't have burritos, you know, but, you know, I didn't work less, and, you know, I was thinking like the burritos, and like, you know what I'm saying, like, it's just like, and it's like, you know, you're full, you know what I'm saying, and like I say, you know, within your stomach and your body and shit like that, you know, if you used to eating a lot, your body used to receiving a lot, it's gonna want a lot. You know what I'm saying? But it's like within your body, um, you know, training and practicing to where you want it to be at or this, this and that, then that's what it's going to want. It's not going to, you know, want more, more, more. Like, obviously at the beginning or whatever, but it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. You know, but it's like, shit. The McDonald's, you know what I'm saying, back back then, back in the day, you know what I'm saying, they had that two for five, motherfucker. Listen, nigga, I'm two Big Macs, you know what I'm saying, we got some little money or something, maybe some fries, you know what I'm saying, that wasn't too often, it was usually fries and a Big Mac order, you know, two for five, for the two big, but, nigga, I got two Big Macs, chop them bitches down, that was nothing. Like, listen, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, I don't know, you know, because I think back and I'm like, that shit crazy. Two Big Macs? You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm talking about, I mean, I'm, I'm feeling like them bitches small. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, these get smaller? Nigga, I'm talking about, I'm mauling them hoes, nigga. Suffocating them bitches. Like, it's crazy. The way I used to just, like, I don't know, bro. Like, Nigga, it was just, you know, crazy. And it's like, you know, and like I say, you know, you know, I was, you know, able to make that switch and make that change just within the, you know what I'm saying? Like I say, when I, you know, started, you know, taking power back and taking shit in my own hands and things of that nature, you know what I'm saying? I cut, you know, no fast food, you know what I'm saying? Because I was no longer wanting to put my money you know, there and shit like that, you know what I'm saying, so it's like, you know, and obviously I was like, you know, just that fast food and shit, like, that shit is just so unhealthy type shit, and, you know, the fact that, you know, how I talk about, you know, they healthy, 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 and, you know, healthy body, and then they got us going to all these, they got these fast food, all these fast food places that all of us can just easily go through, you know what I'm saying, like, it shouldn't be these fast food places that are fucking backed all the way up. You know what I'm saying? Like that, like it should be so odd to say, you know, I'm eating chicken. You know what I'm saying? Like that should be like, like, oh yeah, I'm, a, I'm, I'm eating a human. You know what I'm saying? And like, that's so alarming. That's so what this is and that. You know what I'm saying? I'm eating a human. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm having a human sandwich. You know, I'm having, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, that's what it should sound like. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, what do you have in it? Yeah, I have a uh, human um, chicken, um, you know what I'm saying? Steak, like, you know, and within those three, it's like, oh, chicken and steak sounds good. You know what I'm saying? Quotation, because of just what you know, it has been around us and been reiterated what we've seen and you know what I'm saying and it's like <coughs> that shit <coughs> that shit is just not cool you know what I'm saying and it's like you know and I don't fuck with the imitation shit either like the fake like the fake chicken nuggets or like the vegan chicken nuggets like like like, I don't think we should be, you know what I'm saying, continuing the, you know what I'm saying, the chicken shit, the, you know, the acting like it's an animal. Like, it should, we should move away from it. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, we like I say, you know, it's definitely gonna be tough or blah, blah, blah. But, like I say, if, if people, you know what I'm saying, wanna do for them within their body, wanna do for this home within our earth, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, sacrifices have to be made and have to start being made. You know what I'm saying? It's just, there's, there's not too many ways to go about 
things, you know what I'm saying, that must be done. You know? I don't know why humans think their life is more important than animals. I don't know why humans think their life is more important than animals. I mean, in reality, hunting is not easy at all. The meat industry is obviously disgusting, cruel, and it's hard, but it's what we decided to focus on. So vegan being so-called hard isn't an excuse, huge. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, you know, if we kept it, you know, within that going to go hunt shit, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all would be figuring this vegan out. Y'all be figuring this vegan shit out. You know what I'm saying? Cause that hunting shit, you know what I'm saying? Just within the skill, just within the patience, just within the, you know what I'm saying? The, the, the willingness, you know, to go out there and, you know, do what they do, you know, within certain forms of hunting, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, it's, it's, it's not this, you know, easy thing, you know what I'm saying, physically or mentally, you know what I'm saying, it's like, it's tough, you know, but like I say, now since it's, you know, all done for you and, you know, and blah, 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 you know what I'm saying, it's like so many people don't have to, um, you know, go through the process or, you know, deal with any of it or know about it or, you know, this, this and that, so, you know, they just you know, just eat it and don't think about it. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, you know, I mean, I don't think the honey shit is cool. But you know what I'm saying? Like, listen, <laughs> you know, it's just, it's just not cool. You know, it's just, it's just not cool. You know, but it just goes out to say, you know what I'm saying? That you know, the honey was hard and they made it easy. You know, so the vegan being so-called hard can be made easy. Now, do, like, am I thinking of doing the way they, you know, did it all and processed it all, you know, like now with the meat and all that shit? No, you know what I'm saying? I don't agree with that, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, it's just, it's, it's, it's just no, you know what I'm saying? I don't feel it needs to be, um, you know, done that way and, you know, processed that way and, you know, just a whole bunch of shit, you know, that's being put in this, 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 and that, you know, within, you know, your local or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Y'all have, you know, fresh markets and a fucking garden and a fucking farmer, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But we figure some other shit out rather than just, you know, doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, we need to get back into, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I say, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody tell my, like, go back, you know, and all we do all day is fucking farm. You know what I'm saying? And when we not, we just, you know, kick back looking at the fucking sun. You know what I'm saying? Like, even though that's not bad, you know, but I'm just like, you know, so many motherfuckers just think, like, that is, oh, we gonna have nothing to do, like, shit, like, that's not, you know, what it's on, you know what I'm saying, but it's just like, you know, we gonna be, you know what I'm saying, it's, if we gonna be working at something or this, this, and that, it should be, you know, with our food, it should be with this, it should be, you know what I'm saying, and it's like, then we create something, you know, where, you know, it flows change the way we see things change the way we see things huge you know what i'm saying you gotta see that harassing somebody is not cool you gotta see that eating meat is unhealthy you know what i'm saying you gotta see that expressing kindness you know what i'm saying is healthy you got you know what i'm saying it's like we don't change the way we see you know it's gonna lead us more down the path that we're going, you know what I'm saying? You gotta see that just because they're from whatever, you know what I'm saying, doesn't mean you could treat them like this. You know what I'm saying? Doesn't mean it has to do with anything with who they are within any sense. Doesn't mean, you know, you can stereotype, doesn't you know what I'm saying? Like we gotta change the way we see things. You know, perspective, you know, think about things. Life gives you opportunities. 
what you do with them on you. You know what I'm saying? It's all on you, you know? And like I say, opportunity, they not this, you know, opportunity, you know, positive shit. You know what I'm saying? Opportunity is just what is that opportunity. You know what I'm saying? So many opportunities. whether you take it first and foremost definitely on you then what you do with it y'all love how easy kids are and can be in control it's disgusting I truly believe everyone deals with this world in a different way and is affected differently so someone like you I feel was affected in a way that is one of the worst kind that a kid makes you horny that you can look at a kid that way age or not you see that's a little kid and whether that kid allows it you should know better but even saying should know better would only apply if kids make you horny like most people don't have to know better because they don't look at kids that way nor do kids arouse them but for the ones who mentally just let the world mess them up you need a deep mental evaluation you must change See, everyone just calls y'all creeps, monsters, whatever, without understanding there's literally something wrong. Y'all need help because you shouldn't want to think that way, whether it's online or IRL, easy or not, huge. You know what I'm saying? It's uh, it's like it's it's so it's so big, you know, and it's just like it's just you know another thing. You know what I'm saying? It's like. People, like I get it, you know what I'm saying, within your mental, you know what I'm saying, like what the fuck, you know, like, like how, you know, I get that, you know what I'm saying, but there is something wrong, but they have dealt with something that has caused them and that, you know, they have allowed themselves from that, you know, um, experience to react in this way. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, you know, it's, 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 it's definitely a tough way to go about it, you know, but like I was saying when I was talking about, you know, before, it's like, you know, these people can't open up and say, hey, I need help, you know, so they can't go get the help because they don't want to say, you know, what they need help with, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, that's just, imagine, you know, needing help, you know, and no one will help you, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's, like, that's not cool, you know what I'm saying? We, we, we can't punish you know what I'm saying? We can't punish. You know, there's too many people <coughs> wanting to punish people. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, they should be punished. They should be punished for doing this. They should, you know, that's the only way they'll learn or know not. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, once again, you know, you see what that's got us. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, you know, once again, we got to think about the human and what have, you know, has they gone through, you know what I'm saying? Were they, you know, molested as a child? Were they, you know, has that led them to believe? Or, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, you know, there's so many situations, you know what I'm saying? It's like, we also got to think human of the kid who, you know, is in those, you know, disgusting, you know, uncomfortable situations. You know what I'm saying? We got to think of them. You know, how do we stop kids from being in those situations? You know what I'm saying? And it's like, like I say, the jail shit isn't working. The shit y'all, you know what I'm saying? It isn't working. You know what I'm saying? And like I say, you know, when I was talking about that one YouTube channel and like how, like, they got rid of his shit, but like people carried it on and, you know, we're dealing with these creeps, you know, in a way and this, this and that, you know what I'm saying? That definitely shows how we can you know, kind of, you know, get the ones who don't want to, um, 
be like, I need help or try to get help or this, this, and that. You know what I'm saying? Instead of fucking shaming them and punishing them and bashing them, you know what I'm saying? We go get them that help. You know what I'm saying? Because, like I say, these, they're mentally, like, they're, like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, I don't know, you know, because it, it can seem so, like, you know, but it's just, like, like nobody's born these ways. It just, it doesn't happen. Like, these aren't certain archetypes that certain people just have and are. Like, these aren't, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, we have, you know, some rapists, some molesters, some, you know what I'm saying? Like, or uh, some um, um, people who, you know, um, we have some people who, because I just said rapists and molesters, but that's, obviously that's that, but I was trying to be more on the topic of, uh, we have people who get aroused by kids, you know, this, 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 and that. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, that's that's not what this is. You know what I'm saying? Pick your archetype. You know, that's uh, that's not how this shit is. These motherfuckers are being, re re these motherfuckers are reacting to certain shit. You know what I'm saying? This is a reactive, you know, behavior. You know what I'm saying? And people aren't understanding that. You know, because they aren't understanding that and accepting that or becoming aware of it, whatever. You know what I'm saying? We aren't able to help them. We aren't able to you know what I'm saying, help those children. We aren't able, to, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, within that, like I said, you know, opens up so much, you know, and not having kids fucking hide themselves and not being able to, you know, feel pretty, feel beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, you know, also within certain children and within the media and within what they're seeing, you know, are doing very you know what I'm saying, just sexual shit, you know, and are, and, and are doing things that, that isn't healthy for them, you know what I'm saying, and this isn't talking on the point of, you know, anybody else, this is talking to the point of children doing, you know, unhealthy things, you know what I'm saying, um, for themselves. You know what I'm saying? And it's definitely, you know, not cool. And they think it's okay. Or they, you know, reacted to the certain thing that they've seen or whatever. And they feel it's okay. And they feel it's a way to attract certain people, you know, for certain people to, you know, make you feel attractive or things like that. Like I say, you know, y'all didn't took this sex shit into, you know, a level that's, you know, so unhealthy. You know what I'm saying? Y'all are beyond obsessed. You know what I'm saying? The fact that, you know what I'm saying, you know, within, you know, certain comments or things like that, you know what I'm saying? With the fact within people saying, you know, what's the Twitter? Do you have a Twitter? You know, and them saying like they want, you know what I'm saying? Their Twitter within like, the um like the naked shit and like the fucking you know the only fan shit you know what i'm saying within the twitter shit that people be having you know what i'm saying there's so many people who are just on twitter just doing whatever things for fucking money like there's no other way around it you know what i'm saying for fucking money you know they don't have to go work you know this whatever job because they can you know, post some naked pictures, have naked do some videos or whatever, you know, and, you know, sustain that way. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, like I say, you know, the fuck are you doing buying the OnlyFans? Like, I, I don't know. We not even going. I don't know. Working out is also healthy. People genuinely love going. They allow it to help their mental. I mean, the satisfaction of getting stronger or, you know, your body changing how you want would feel good. Huge, you know what I'm saying? Just, you know, within how I, you know, the topics that I touched on as far as working out and this, this and that, you know, it is also healthy. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, like I say, so many people, you know, use that time definitely as a them time and definitely as a, 
clear their head or think about certain things or, you know, release certain stress, you know, it's definitely a relief for them. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, it's definitely huge, you know, and it's definitely, you know, a mental booster, you know, and like I say, you know what I'm saying? It's definitely important to, you know, also understand, you know, those parts of working out, you know what I'm saying? It just definitely comes down to, you know, how you go about it, you know, and why are you wanting to work out and, you know, this, 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 and that. People have to change the way they see. You don't have to change the way you look. We're all different and beautiful, huge. You know what I'm saying? That whole got a heart at the end of it. I think, I think that was something I commented on a video or some shit. Yeah, cause that whole got a comment a period. <laughs> you know, cause like with people, you know, like making a comment or something like that, you know, I definitely try to, you know, cause they don't know how I speak or how I'm saying the words or whatever, you know, so, you know, which is grammar is used for or whatever, you know, so I try to, you know, use it, you know, but like I said, I don't use it with myself cause I feel I know, but shit was from, like I say, this shit was from what? 2020 or some shit, so like it's been so long or whatever. And like I say, I, I don't know, but yeah, you know what I'm saying? And that's such a big message, you know what I'm saying? We have to change the way we see, you know, you don't have to change the way you look, you know what I'm saying? You're beautiful, you know, and you know, it's definitely huge, you know what I'm saying? Let me read that shit again. People have to change the way they see, you don't have to change the way you look. We're all different and beautiful. You know what I'm saying? We're all different and beautiful. Yeah, that's so big, bro. So big. That's crazy. You know, like some people feel they got to change the way they look. You know what I'm saying? So many people feel they got to change the way they look. You know, because of others, you know what I'm saying? And they could be like, oh, it's just me, this, this, and that. You know, okay, you know, where are those thoughts stemming from? And within, you know, the wanting of changing what? You know, and like I gotta say, you know, we just talked about. Y'all body feels like shit when y'all don't work out. It's used to this rush, push, whatever you want to call it, like drugs. It's a sign to leave that shit be. You abusing it, withdrawals coming down from some shit, you know, like you should be able to um, stop working out and be chilling and be chilling. So or whatever, that's not what I'm talking about. But to a certain extent, that can mean you doing it wrong, fucking up your body huge. You know what I'm saying? Oh God, you know what I'm saying? When you abusing drugs, you know what I'm saying? And you try to get off the shit, you got got withdrawals and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? When you, you know, used to, you know, feeling this certain rush and, you know, going to work out and blah, 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? Now, you're not working out and you feel like, I mean, shit. You know what I'm saying? You feel fucking horrible. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, that's so unhealthy. Yeah. And like, you know, within seeing it, within you just like, oh, I just need to go work out. You know what I'm saying? Not, you know, within the perspective of you stop, you know, you stop abusing that drug and you start feeling like shit. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to feel like shit, so they going to go back to using the drug. So with you, you working, you know, you abusing working out, you stop working out. And now you feel like shit, so you go back to abusing working out. You know what I'm saying? It's like, because it's working out or whatever, you know what I'm saying? You feel it's not this or not that, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, you put shit in perspective and, you know, evaluate and understand it to a certain extent. It's like, uh, you know what I'm saying? This shit is very unhealthy, you know what I'm saying? And like I say, you know, so much shit within that, you know, working out shit that's like, you know, I'm not too sure, you know what I'm saying? And like that. That fucking, you know, that pre-workout or, you know, the, the, the salt smelling shit. You know what I'm saying? I mean, drugs. 
Listen, you know what I'm saying? But like, like that shit, like, <coughs> that shit is ridiculous. <coughs> like, you don't need no fucking pre-workout. Like, that shit is ridiculous. Like, it's either you can go work out and do what you're doing, or you can't. You don't need no fucking, fucking salter. And, oh, well, I'm fucking like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, what are you doing? You need to get your body fucking, you need to be out of control of your body in order for you to go work out. Like, what? You know what I'm saying? Like, what are we talking about just to reach this certain physique that you didn't even get? You know what I'm saying? Like, you didn't even get that hoe. The pre-workout got you that hoe. The, 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 the drugs got you that hoe. The, the, the fucking, the salt got you that hoe. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, like, no. You know what I'm saying? Like, that pre-workout shit is ridiculous. I mean, so many people fiend over that shit, and that's so many people like natural thing, like, oh, fucking pre-workout, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just saying like that coffee shit and energy drink. Like, listen, like, like I say, I mean, you know, like me, I don't drink no fucking coffee, no energy. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know what I'm saying? Within my body and this, this and that. Do I, if I want to adapt it and train it to stay up to this, this, this and that. Then I'll do that and let's figure that shit out. But I don't need no coffee to wake the fuck up. I don't need no energy to keep me the fuck up or wake the fuck up. I don't, you know what I'm saying? And I don't need it because I don't practice that. I don't train it. I don't give my body that. And it's used to getting it. So, you know, when I don't give it to it, it, it fucking yearns for it. And it abuses my body for not give, for me not giving it to him. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, bro. Like, you practice unhealthy shit. You know what I'm saying? Don't need no fucking coffee to get the fuck up and wake the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and you know, if I so-called reach that point or blah, 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 I got to change some shit. Something within my lifestyle is very fucking unhealthy. You know what I'm saying? Within your workout shit and this, this, and that, you know what I'm saying? Maybe you're not so pumped to go to the gym. Maybe you're not so, you know what I'm saying? And it's just not on some, you know, I'm just not feeling it, this, this, and that. You know, you're not feeling it. Then it's either you so-called push through with you and your mental and you push through or you don't fucking go. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all so-called want so bad but need the pre-workout, but need the drugs, but need all this other shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, bro, you want it? Go get it. Like, I don't know, bro. Like, I don't know. It's wild. Do y'all know what y'all eating? We out here destroying ecosystems for some chips, huge. <coughs> huge, you know, so many, so much shit, you know what I'm saying? Destroying ecosystems, you know, fucking so much shit up. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all not understanding, you know, how we really fucking up everything. Like, really. Really fucking up everything. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know. Stop eating chips. Like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, listen. You know what I'm saying? It's all it was. Chips, junk food. It's like, like I say, like I say, we grow up and we just, what we're given, we fucking, you know, throw it down on fucking mouths, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, like now I ain't got no fucking chips. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's like, it, you know, it, it, it's tough within the beginning shit, you know, you just like chips, you know what I'm saying? Chips, 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 you know what I'm saying? But within the chips, you know, already, like I was like, like I say, I'm already like, no, you know what I'm saying? Within just my mental and thinking about shit, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, you know, I was having a tough time trying to find like these chips that just like, oh, like, I, I can't stop eating this shit. You know what I'm saying? And so it was like, I was already just over it. And 
there's no chips in a fucking bag anyway, so it's just like, fuck this shit. You know what I'm saying? But I got chips in a while. You know, and it's just like, yeah, I don't know. It's crazy, bro. The fact that we were brainwashed to make fun of vegans to make it seem so bad. Huge. Huge. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just it's just so much shit that we just, you know, ha ha, you know, laugh, 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 copy, copy, copy. You know, it's like, why? Why did that need to be the process? Why did that need to be how we go about it? You know what I'm saying? Like, Mm. It's not cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just, you know, y'all fucking, fucking shit up, you know? But it's like, now that more, you know, whatever, vegan, whatever, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, more companies are coming out with, you know, eco friendly or, you know what I'm saying? Or as far as, I say coming out. I mean, obviously with their new ones, sure, but just as far as now being shown, you know, now being brought to light or being having a light shine on them, you know what I'm saying, rather than fucking, you know, bashing them and being like, you know, ha, 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 ha. You know what I'm saying? But like I say, you know, just once again, all that is up to the people who are taking care of you. You know, they're buying all the shit there. You know what I'm saying? So you're living this fucking, you know, whatever life, you know, and not being, you know, aware of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's crazy. Oh, man. Oh, man, not again. Niggas always think it's the devil's work. <laughs> Huge. Oh me, oh me, no funny, no funny. Working out can give you an opportunity to teach yourself so many lessons. Main one is being disciplined. You can use it for other stuff. You push it past limits does great for your mental and physical with time. You saying, hey, I don't like my body, I don't feel comfortable, I'm not healthy, and any other reason, and you did something, that's huge, huge. That's huge. You did something, you know? You did something. I don't feel comfortable. You know, I don't like my body for the most part, this, this, and that. I feel unhealthy. And you did something, you know, that's, that's big. You know what I'm saying? You know, like I say, you know, that's what's been, you know, just so, you know, with me and I feel just within, you know, my mental that I feel has helped me that, I, you know, that I feel me doing has helped me type shit is just, you know, not being so situation and like this is only for this and when I learned this this is only for this you know what I'm saying it's like me just taking you know almost from every situation I'm in type of shit and kind of you know really taking it in and you know learning it and like you know um taking it as a ability or a fucking upgrade or you know whatever you know what I'm saying and kind of keeping it in my inventory you know, and just, you know, using it, you know what I'm saying, whenever I need it or like, you know, in certain games you pick something up, you don't know what the fuck it's for and all of a sudden they're like, oh, use, you know, this item to help you do that. And then it's like, oh, that's what that was for. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like, I don't know, like that shit has been just so major, you know, to really pay attention and to not just leave those there you know when i leave that situation or you know in that certain experience or you know things of that nature you know what i'm saying really just and being able to evaluate and you know kind of know what to take with you and what to leave behind and 
you know, within what you learned from what you're leaving behind is, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, like, it's just, it's so big, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, you know, it's just, you know, and like, obviously, you know, experience, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's, you know, what it's called or blah, 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 you know, but it's just like, you know, there's so many ways to go about it. There's so many, you know, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, like I say, the foundation thing is just huge. And being able to have this situational thing and break it down to the foundation and, you know, being able to, oh, shit, you know what I'm saying? Different situation, but similar, same foundation. Y'all got to stop the, it's okay for women, not men. And it's okay for men and not women. Either it's okay or it's not. Y'all don't know how to pick and choose, so just stop. Bless. <laughs> Either it's okay or it's not. Y'all don't know how to pick and choose, so just stop. Bless. <laughs> not huge, you know what I'm saying? Like I say, especially, you know, I got yeah. You know, there's so much of what I talk about. You know. you know, and there's so much of what they, you know, foundation is built off of, you know, just with this, you know, like I was talking about, you know what I'm saying, about somebody record, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, Oh, you're fucked. Oh, you got this money and know this person. Oh, you're good. You know, it's either you're fucked or you're not. You know, or nobody's fucked. Or, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, we can't with this, you know. Oh, yeah, we'll let them fly. Oh, well, you know what I'm saying? It's like, that shit just won't work. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not cool. You know, and it's like, ugh. Spoiled, another badly used word for some reason. People, mm, mm, mm. spoiled, another badly used word for some reason. People made it a negative. Spoiled is healthy within a sense. You get what you need and want plus extra. They present helping you emotionally, mentally. You know, just working with you shows parents understood what came with having a kid. And worked hard so their kids could have everything. I mean, I feel that should be any healthy relationship. Not so much money, material-wise. That's more for this game. But just being there, knowing what they want, don't want. Noticing things, that's noticing things. That's spoiling. It's like, things get so messy. Ah, fuck. But just being there, knowing what they want, don't want. Noticing things, that's spoiling. It's like, things get so mixed up. Just explain what you feel. Like, fuck, is it being, like, fuck, is it being spoiled, you know? Then you'll see if you think healthy or unhealthy. All depends, huge. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's bullshit out the fucking window. You know, and they blame too much of the motherfuckers being there mentally, emotionally, physically. You know what I'm saying? Of, you know, so-called some people's bad behavior, you know, and... But then also addition within the money and shit like that. You know, they attach it. You know, that fucker is just, you know, um, you know, it's just, um, it's just acting out, you know, is, 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 you know, expressing rudeness, you know, is, is, you know, being very, you know, expressing unkindness. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just that. You know, but we don't need to attach it. Oh, it's because the parents spoiled them. This, 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 and that. You know what I'm saying? It's too much attachment. It's too much, you know, everything else instead of what is. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, sure, within certain shit and certain ways and measurements of the way they going about what they doing for the child and what they're allowing and this, this, and the third, of course. You know what I'm saying? But I'd be damned, you know. If I'd be like, nah. 
you know what I'm saying? I didn't want to have, I don't want to have somebody, you know, there to care and support me, there to emotionally, mentally, physically, you know what I'm saying? You know, got me, you know what I'm saying? Money wise, you know, needs, wants, you know, got me. Like, that's wild. You know what I'm saying? That's wild. And that also goes, you know, with the person that's doing the spoiling or whatever. How are they going about, you know, communicating these things that they're giving them or, you know, the ways that they are for them or, you know, things like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, and within that, you know, can translate down to just, you know, what that person wants are and things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, it's just a healthy relationship. You know? Like, it's ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, there's so many situations of somebody who's so-called spoiled, you know what I'm saying, that expresses kindness, that, you know, whoever treats whoever is spoiled them with so much care and support, like, it's just like, ugh. you know, just take the, you know, the chunk of the negative or whatever from whatever and be like, oh, it's all of it. I don't know how kind turning to letting people walk all over you, saying yes to everything, never going against anything or anybody. Like you can express kindness and still have respect for yourself, stand up for yourself, say no, be able to speak up and expressing rudeness isn't confronting somebody. Saying no, standing up for yourself, going against things, like just shit we, we was told that I feel was a flaw. You know what I'm saying? Like. You can say no. You can stand up for yourself. You can go against what they're saying, right? So many people are like, oh, I don't want to say no. I want to be, you know, I want to be nice. I don't want to be mean. Like, what the fuck does that mean? You know what I'm saying? Just making something that is fucking not at all. You know what I'm saying? I got this cotton candy in my fucking hand, and this little nigga come up to my, can I have some? No. You know what I'm saying? It's not a, you know, what the fuck? Oh, you're being mean. This, this, and it's just a kid. You know, all this attachment shit y'all trying to do and this guilt trip shit y'all trying to do. I paid for this fucking cotton candy and I was looking forward to eating this whole fucking cotton candy. No, I don't have money for another one. No, I can't go buy another one. No, I'm not going to get this little nigga a little piece. None of the sorts. No. You know, it's this, once again, there's too much obligation with these little fucking children that y'all are putting onto them. You know what I'm saying? No. Come play. No. I don't want to play right now. You want to go play? You go play. You know what I'm saying? And the, the child want to cry and do all that shit, the child is crying because they wanted something and they didn't fucking get it. Child not crying because you so-called being mean and this, you know what I'm saying? Like, listen, like, y'all got to come on with that shit. No. You know what I'm saying? No. Don't want to do none of that shit. You know? And it's like, you know, just so many, you know, situations, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know, because you in a certain situation and you want to say no, and you tell about some fucking yes. You know what I'm saying? Then you tell about, oh, I should have said no. Well, you know, and even within that shit, you damn, you done dug a hole, but nah, never mind. I changed my mind. No. Like, fuck it. Like, I don't know, bro. Like, y'all be holding yourself down. Y'all be giving yourself too much responsibility and pressure. Y'all be, you know what I'm saying, acting like, you know, y'all be forcing yourself like, I got to do this now. I must, like, I got to say, like, it's just it's ways to go about shit. But it's like, you know, y'all be putting pressure on yourselves and having these certain guidelines for yourselves. And, like, I don't know, bro. It's like, oh, I got to do this now. I, 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 I don't know. Like, that shit is wild. Do whatever it takes to save American lives. That's how they get you. Whoever doing whatever or us, whoever doing whatever 
or us who watching horrifying things make you believe what you're doing is good? How do we save lives? Y'all also need that deep mental evaluation because of how y'all reacted to this game. Kill it not right. Thinking we can kill others because they're not so-called Americans. Justifying y'all plan to feel sane. I feel that ain't right. You know what I'm saying? I don't agree with that. You know what I'm saying? I, I can't agree with that. I will not allow myself to agree with that. You know what I'm saying? Save American lives. How? Because if y'all wasn't saying go kill them to save American lives and they wasn't saying go kill them to save, you know what I'm saying, whoever, you know, our lives, then ain't nobody going to go kill nobody. Correct? Within that, 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 that macro mass sense. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, you know, once again, foundationally, y'all showing everybody we can go kill. Then they go kill. I got it. Kill other citizens, it's okay. Kill U.S. citizens, you can't kill our own. Only if they knew we're all human. And killing any human is killing our own. Mm. Only if they know. No, no, no. They, they, they don't. They don't know. They don't know we all human. They don't know we all one. They don't understand it. If we're all one, how come when they die, I don't die? Fuck me. <laughs> like, I don't know, man. Yeah, huge. You know? And big within a, like, even if they're living within America, but they're not a so-called U.S. citizen, and you kill them, they didn't belong here anyway. They should have went back to where they came from. Like, what the fuck is that shit? I, 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 once again, like, I can't begin to understand that shit. Like, nigga, this isn't your land. Go back to where they, you go back to wherever the fuck you came from. Where did you come from? God damn. Y'all forgot? This ain't our shit. Y'all killed motherfuckers and took it. Shit. I'm fucking wolfing back. Go back to where you come from. Like, what does that mean? You know what I'm saying? It's like, it be some people like who... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Some people who would be told to go back where you come from telling somebody else to go back where you come from. Like, what the fuck? Shit, you telling me? <laughs> Shit, both of us need to go back to where we so-called come from. Shit. Nah, bro, but that shit is wild. That shit is crazy. Y'all try to understand too much. It's a big problem. So fucking big. Y'all try to understand too much. That is one of the big reasons why we are what we are right now. Life already a struggle because of the system these niggas created. So I don't understand why some people want to suffer more by feeling terrible every day because they committed a sin. And of course, they praise God so they feel disappointed. And it's this constant feeling every day. And it's like, and it's like yeah, just change. Stop doing it. The definition of a sin is so blurred that it's different for everyone. Huge. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, it's kind of not just, you know, just kind of change, kind of just stop doing it shit. You know, it did certain situations to a certain extent, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, yeah, like, I don't, I don't like, why put that pressure on yourself? Why, you know, follow this thing that you don't have to follow. Why not have peace within your mental and the things that you do within a certain extent? Because, you know, you're oppressing yourself 
about this God that will punish you for such a sin and you must apologize every day for these sins that you've done. Your God is going to punish you. Uh, you know, I don't know about that one. You know what I'm saying? You know, I don't, I don't know about that one. You know, but it's huge. I mean, seeing every day. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, like, come on, man. Like, why? Why would you want to live that life? The way y'all trying to understand everything, figure shit out that got nothing to do with y'all, gonna get us all fucked up. <laughs> Humans ain't shit compared to all this other shit, bro. Y'all gonna fuck around and wake some shit up. You, y'all gonna fuck around and wake some shit up. I don't mean no funny. <laughs> y'all gonna fuck around and wake some shit up. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all, y'all best to start leaving shit alone. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Y'all in this curiosity of y'all. You know what I'm saying? Curious George and shit. Fuck that! What a what is the what a yellow nigga at with the yellow? You know what I'm saying? The yellow suit and the yellow hat. He need to call y'all niggas back. <laughs> he need to round y'all niggas up. Shit, y'all is tripping. You know what I'm saying, kids, motherfuckers? Tell y'all need to let that shit go. <laughs> I didn't let that shit go. I'm telling you. You know what I'm saying? And, hey, they ain't gonna give a fuck that you didn't let them free. They ain't gonna give a fuck. They gonna kill your ass right there on the spot. You know what I'm saying? They ain't got no, oh, you know, this person is okay, but this person is not. Nah, killing everything in a way. Listen, I don't know. Humans so naive about shit or so out of control that they can make films exposing themselves and how corrupt they are and nothing happens huge. You know what I'm saying? Like that will forever be one of the big fucking things. Just like how they can literally show in film, series, books, documentaries, whatever. <laughs> about all this shit. And it's like you know what I'm saying? It's just, uh, hey, that shit is crazy. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, look at this. You know, there's nothing you can do about it. Like, oh, that's that's such a fuck you. It's such a fuck you move. You know what I'm saying? Like, and also, yeah, sure, it could be a fuck you from, like, the creator point of view of, like, 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 we know and, you know, we'll expose it, but it's like, they don't care. And within the, you know, people, you know, like I say, it's, you know, what can they do within trying to beat them at their own game, you know? So it's just like, you know. Oh man, Serena. Yeah, that's a tough loss. First singles match back, you know what I'm saying? In a, in a while, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, I mean, you know, very competitive match, you know what I'm saying? But it's just like, I mean, six one in the second set. It's just, you know what I'm saying? Like, you thinking that momentum? You think like, God damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
Uh, you know, this is like take it back, take it on home now, nah, you know, but you know, it's, you know, it definitely happens, you know, and it's, you know, it's, it's a tough loss. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Like I say, I gotta, you know, I'm not too, you know, knowledgeable about tennis. You know, it's just some shit I be seeing. I just be like, I just be like, damn. Like, I just like, come on. Like, uh, like some of her mistakes, you know what I'm saying? Her fucking, you know, errors that she be making. It's just, you know, it's, 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 it's so her beating herself. You know what I'm saying? And it's just, you know, you know, it's it's just, you know, definitely tough. You know what I'm saying? When it's you beating you, you know what I'm saying? It ain't no discredit to, you know what I'm saying? Oh, girl from France, you know, she was representing France or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Look, and she, she went out there and played ball. She went out there and competed. You know what I'm saying? She had the, you know, stamina to, you know, go back and forth. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, That nigga Matt, <laughs> that nigga Matt and Haley, Matthew Haig and Haley Haig. Ah, the double H. Yeah, you heard. <laughs> the double H. I ain't gonna lie. N H H H. Ooh. That boy Nate shot. Finally proposed to Haley. I think that was like last week or some shit. That shit crazy. After three years. And and then and what that nigga Matt said. I ain't gonna get married, I ain't gonna have no kids. <laughs> like that's what people don't be understanding. Like shit happens, life happens, you know, people you allow people into your life and you know, and definitely within Haley, you know what I'm saying? Like, has just made such a, you know, caring and supportive, supporting impact on his life. You know, it's just, you know, it's at the end of it all, you know, it's a beautiful thing, you know what I'm saying? But it's just, you know, took her out to Hawaii and, you know, fucking did what he had to do. <laughs> that shit is crazy, bro. Like, it looked like she was crying in the picture, too. That shit is crazy. That shit is crazy. You know what I'm saying? You know, like I said, you know, that marriage shit, you know what I'm saying? But just within so many people's mental and what so many people want and you know, they give power to that being the next step or things of that nature. So it's just like, you know, it's definitely like, you know, but like I say, you know what I'm saying? You ain't got to get married. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, you know, a lot of people kind of use it as a next chapter type thing, as a, you know, you know, taking that next step, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, just a thing we'll be in, you know, hey, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Definitely huge though, definitely huge. Definitely so fucking huge for him, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just like, you know, uh, I don't know. You know, because just of what we've seen and this, this, and that, that just, you know, it wasn't him. That wasn't Matt. That wasn't. And that's just from him, you know what I'm saying, expressing certain things and things like that. You know what I'm saying? That just wasn't, you know, seemed like it was in the cards. You know, it did. One of those most important things in his life came along.
Haley definitely up there. Definitely up there. You know what I'm saying? All the things that he didn't, you know, all the moments that he didn't have in his life, you know what I'm saying? Meeting her, being with her, the journey that they on, definitely up there. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, you know, don't want to say, like, accomplishment, you know, today, she ain't no fucking trophy. You know what I'm saying? Like, just, you know, moments, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy. Yeah, it's been tough, though. The fucker ain't been live, man. You know what I'm saying? The fucker ain't been live. Shit. Motherfucker got shit to do, I guess. <laughs> I guess. Shit, hopefully he's still, you know what I'm saying, hopping on dialing a little bit. You know what I'm saying? He don't get too rusty and shit. Boy gonna be in trouble. He gonna be back to where he fucking started type shit. You know what I'm saying, boy? He was looking good, too. He just... Started reaching a mortal too and shit. Should I get to damn? To evaluate, work, change, grow. Evaluate, work, change, grow. Yeah.